Okay, all right, let's see. I promised I was going to do a video on uh, bar chords, and I uh, already did it on the basic um, uh, open chords, you know, like your, your major chords. And, um, and but I, I didn't, we did a B minor seven, so we could stay in the um, open chord position on the first one I showed on acoustic. But now we're going to get into um, bar chords. And the reason we could do an A, C, D, E, F, G, but had to do the B7 instead of a B is because the B is actually a bar chord. And I'm going to go over why all that is. I'll do a video on it later. I really should, and I'm going to assume most people already know this um, at some point, um, that uh, the guitar scale is just like the piano scale. On the piano, all those white keys, those are um, those are, are, your, are your major notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it just goes over and over and over again. And if you see a really long, you know, it could be like three times, four times, five, six, seven times. Depends on how big the keyboard is. But those white keys, they just go A, B, C, D, F, G. That's all they do. And what happens is those little black keys up there at the top, you see the black ones every now and then, but they're not every other key. They're just in groups. They're in groups of two and three and two and three. And what they are is uh, those are your, are your, um, um, those are your sharps on the keyboard. Your, all the white notes are this. They, well, they start on a C. I'll do another lesson on that because uh, most of your modes are based on the C. And, um, and I'll get into modes later after I show a bunch of different scales and stuff. There's no point in doing it right now when I don't have the other scales up yet. But um, the, uh, on the guitar, basically you think of it as an E. You don't think of it. You don't think of the, uh, of the, of the C. Like on middle C on the piano, I know you've heard that. And this is the C and C major scale. C, C. But um, but anyhow, uh, on for the guitar's sake, we're going to use the same principle later. If you look at a at a piano uh, layout, it's going to be the same thing. We're just going for this purpose today. I'm going to start you on an E because your E string, your two E strings. But anyhow. Uh, what I want you to realize, all those white keys on the piano, they are E, F, G. Now watch what I'm doing here. Whenever I started off, I went from E to F. I only went up one fret. But all of a sudden for the G, I went up two. And that's why there's a black key in there, okay? Because that accommodates for me going up one or two for each note. What happens is, is when you're not when when you're only supposed to go up one and not a whole step, there'll be a black note on the piano. And the way we're going to do it here is this going to be E, F, all right, F sharp, G, okay, G sharp, A, okay, A sharp, B, okay. Now between B and C, same thing, just like between E and F, okay, all right. Got your uh, B and then a C. It's a half step, and then another full step, okay? D, and then another step, E, and you start over again. So you got E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And what'll happen is, is I'm gonna. Sh that's how your bar chords are gonna work, okay? We're gonna bait because what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna start with uh with these bar chords. There's plenty of other ones, you know, like you can do your E here, you can do your E here, you know, you can do your E here. You know, do your E here. Uh, There's just all kinds of ways you do E right there. But anyhow, um, there's all kinds of ways to, to do an E, um, and and even and even your E can be a can be a minor. But um, but anyhow, we're, what we're gonna do? We're gonna work on the basic, the beginner bar chords. And the beginner bar chords will be like you take your E, and that whole thing I was talking about, the half step and the whole step thing. Okay. Um, between your E and F, there's, there's only a half step. So that means you go to the next fret, okay? And you take this E, I tell you, take this E right here, and instead of making it with these fingers, what I want you to do, I want you to do the same, the same, um, have your fingers in the same, on the same three strings in the same position, but I want you to switch to this thing to do it with these fingers. And I'm going to show you why in a minute. So I want you to do your E like this, okay? All right, now the reason I want you to do that is because whenever you move it up one fret, now, this is going to become the beginning of the guitar. So now you're going to have an F. And then you go up two frets because it's a full step. One, two, 
You're going to have your G, okay? You go up two more. One, two. Okay, you're going to have your A, okay? You go up two more. You're going to have your B, okay? All right. Now, between B and C, remember, it's just like E and F. You only go up one. So you go up, and there's your C, okay? Now, between C and D, okay? There's full step, so that's two. All right. And there's your D. And then between D and E is a full step. Okay? And the, now the beauty to this is it's going to work the same way whenever you start learning other bar chords. Because, like, when you do your A here, if you do it with this finger instead and 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 this bar up here, that's, that, makes your, that makes your A. Well, move the whole thing up um, um, two steps because between A and, and B is a full step. So you go one, two. And now that's going to move this bar up to here. And you only play from the fifth string down, but you don't play the first, you don't play the E in it. But anyhow, so there you go. So you got an A, B, okay? Between B and C is a half step, okay? Between C and D is a full step, okay? All right, between D and E is a full step. All right, between E and F, just like between E and F. All right, now you got E and F. Half step, same thing. All right between F and G is a full step. Okay. All right between um, G and A, right there, a full step. You're right back where you started from, just an octave higher. And then everything repeats itself above the 12th fret. So if you master everything in here, you've got the rest of it. Okay. Because it's the same thing, it doesn't change. Um, all right. So that basically covers your bar chords. So um, now those are majors, those are major chords. All right. Now, Take, for example, um, I'm going to do uh, some open chords, uh, a minor lesson. Like um, I showed you your E, but it, uh, if you remove this finger here, it becomes E minor. So what happens if you move it up a half a fret between E and F being a half step? Oh, my goodness. F minor, okay? F sharp minor. Because it's only half step. It's only... One one fret on the guitar is a half a step, okay? That's what that means. Half step from E minor, okay? Then a full step, G minor, okay? Full step, A minor. See how that works? See how that works? Got your E, F, G, A on up the neck. You got your E minor. You got your F minor. You got your G minor. You got your A minor. You got your B minor, C minor, D minor. Right back to your E minor. See, recognize it? And also, too, like that like that little Southern Rock song right there. Um, I forgot the name of it. Uh, highway song. But what you're doing here, when you do that C that I showed you, in the open C, another thing, whenever you slide it up to one, two, um, what happens? What's after a C, a D, and it's a full step. So you go from C to D. So watch here if you go. In essence, you're doing this. See, I just went to a D chord. Instead of, watch. See what I mean? And the D's all over the place. get into those later all right but anyhow uh i hope that helps a little bit with your bar chords and you can take that principle about your half step and your whole steps and you can apply it everywhere um if you're here if you're on the d you're playing the last four strings from your d string down that d chord i showed you in one in one of the old lessons if you got d sharp e okay between e and f's a half step that means now you're playing an f Wait a minute. How am I playing an F there? Huh. Well, I tell you, if I take it up two, there's a G. See? All right. Now I'll take this G. Go up two. Suddenly we got an A. An A. An A. An A. An A. <laughs> but anyhow, you get it. Um, and that's how you navigate all over the board. 
And people think, well, how do you memorize all that stuff? Well, a lot of it's a, a, re a repeat. It's a repeat. And it's like once you know, once you know this about the C, C, D, E, F, G, once you know that, you know the little step thing, you can do it with any chord. You can uh, say you're right here in A. If you go up two, you're on a B. Up one, you're up a C. Up two again, on a D. The same thing. Um, and it works on everything. It works. It's, it's the rule. It's the rule of music. <laughs> All right. All right. That that's uh. Let's see if I got anything else I can. 